not the first place that comes to mind when you're planning a summer destination. But if, like Hindu, you love wine, then you'll find it's a great place to be. If Bacchus is the god you worship, come with me on a journey that's an all-time high. I am taking you to the wine lover's mecca called the Nasik Valley, just 200 kilometers from Mumbai, where the air is soaked with the aroma of grapes, and at every step, a bottle waits to be uncorked. In a car, you can test if you have a steady head for this great wine journey. Send in the art of traveling on top of a car. Will you be able to handle all the wine? I'm the king of the world! So you do all sorts of things to see if you can keep the balance. Come to the diary for long stretches can be very boring, so try to get some fresh air. And finally, get some sleep on the journey, there's some heavy drinking ahead. Then, drive on, wine traveller. Driving to Nasik can be fun, it's a fairly smooth highway. If you start early enough from Bombay, you can complete the journey in just about four hours. Of course, the Maharashtra countryside can get very boring. Summer means harvest time in Nasik and one of the best times to come here. But it can get quite warm, so wear light cotton, jeans and always carry a sturdy pair of walking shoes. You know you're nearing the Valley of Vines when you find this place, Midway. Halfway to Nasik, I'm at this crazy place called Hotel Midway Park. It serves as its most popular dish, batata bara with white wine. I guess this is what they mean when they say democratization of wine. Batata vada with white wine. Nowhere else in the world. It happens only in India. There are more than 30 wineries in and around Nasik. But the one that gets maximum number of wine travelers from across the world is the Sula Vinaya. That's because it has a wine tour, a tasting room, and even a wine tasting session. I would call this a place as a mini France. The wine is good, it's very good here. There's something incredibly peaceful about this, sitting here, nibbling some cheese, sipping wine. I think at the end of the day, that's what makes it worthwhile for the wine traveler to come here. This incredible zen-like sense of peace quiet and stillness. If the great outdoors is not quite your style, you could stay at the Taj or the Panjwati, the only two good hotels in Nasik. It is a fairly boring town actually, so we suggest you just stick to drinking wine. And get your kids too. God knows most of them need the outdoors. This is the true spirit of having breakfast in a vineyard. You have your cheese, you have your olives, you have crackers, you have your glass of champagne. And guess what? Among all the things that you can drink champagne with, here's a new one. Champagne with poa. Hmm. Very interesting. And then, time to get drunk with the vineyard owner. Here's the area where, you know, right, very close to the winery in the vineyard. Yeah. You can come here, you can pitch your tents. Yeah. We're going to put up some luxury tents right over here. Yeah, yeah. And this is all going to happen very soon, right, right in this monsoon. Okay. Um, and so it's just, it's beautiful. You know, you can go biking, you can go hiking. You've got, you've got great hills around to go hiking. When the wine begins to hit, get out quick into the cool vineyard. They detox all the drinking. As a wine traveler, when you have had enough of drinking the wine, it's time to try the real thing. Absolutely divine. Then when you're a little more stabilized, go right back on the winery tour. You know what? Just smelling this is really intoxicating. Intoxicating, that's what you are. This is the beginning of the wine tour where I'm waiting with an empty bottle which are going to be filled there and I'm also waiting with my empty glass to get the first sip of the bottled wine.
That's it. Absolutely freshly bottled wine. The first sip from this bottle it hasn't even been corked. I'm going to take a sip. And then it's time to get some sun and make some wine. Chompa chompa. This is actually damp tough and really slippery. You have to hold on really hard. And I'm clearly no expert. As you can see, my fall might come soon. The serious wine traveller, of course, doesn't only remain at the big wineries. He finds the small one-room vineyards and the best among them is in Pimplegaon, 25 kilometers from Nasik. It's called Silo Wines, where each wine has a name from, guess what? Shakespeare. For the inquisitive traveller, this is a new wine heaven. It proves that in India, wine no longer needs just a luxurious surrounding to survive. It can well survive in a rustic small farm, where it even gets a hint of Shakespeare. As simple as to have babies and to make good wine, you don't require expertise. As the sun sets on the Nasik Valley, do what everyone here does. Say cheers. If sipping a quiet glass of good wine is your idea of happiness, ladies and gentlemen, this is paradise. We're taking a short break right now, but stay with us because there's lots more happening on the show.